and fusion. You gather 18 fighters from all over the globe. We have them train together. We have them live together. We have them eat together. We have them fight together. But only one gets to win it. So it's now or never. This is the battle of a warrior. Let it be known. And my advice is either go hard or go home. You better step up to the challenge or you'll get dismissed. And you don't get a second chance, homie. This is it. Ho Samui is where we train the best. Welcome to Thailand. Let's see if you can pass the test. Which one of these fighters is a champion? Who's gonna rise up and show them that it can be done? Forty thousand dollars. Now who wants it most? Let's see if you can do more than brag and boast. Kickboxing. Discipline, step inside the ring, let's go finish him. Welcome to Infusion Reality number five, the ladies edition, where 18 of the best female fighters from all over the world compete until there is one left. They will be coached by five heavyweight team captains who will also fight each other in this tournament. Fighters will sleep, eat, live and train together in Resort Super Pro Samui a necessity to visit for all people who love combat sports. Super Pro Samui is located on the beautiful island of Koh Samui. The island has something for everybody. Sun, sea, rest, culture, and above all, good parties. The co-host of the show is 14 times world champion, Julie Kitchen. And Fusion is the brainchild of host Edwin Van Os, coach, manager, former trainer of many world-class Thai boxers. Infusion. Welcome back to Resort Super Pro Samui, Thailand. This time, we have a ladies' edition with 18 female fighters and five male captains. The heavyweight captains are checking the fighting skills of the female contenders. All the girls give it their best shot to impress the captains, as they hope to be picked in their teams. We have 18 girls and only room for 16, so two will end up as reserves. It's about to go down, 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 down. And fusion. Okay, we have five captains. We only have room for four. Your first assignment. The first assignment is a popularity contest. The captain with the most votes is safe. The other four have to do more challenges. The girls have to decide which captain made the best first impression on them. You can look behind you, guys. Tell me your number. Aswin, how many do you have? Four. Nail. Four. Nail. Bill. Three. Five. Five also. Six. Oh. The small one, the small one. I didn't see me, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Six. <laughs> She's too small. Six. Thank you, girls. Okay, that means we have a winner. Uh, Brice, you are the first captain who is selected. Congratulations. Yeah, really. I have nothing to lose. I will win this tournament. Yeah, I'm a happy man, but uh, now it's going to be difficult to choose only four between these six. I think I'm going to draw it because uh, all the girls are really, uh, really good. I test them this morning on pets and uh, I'm happy with uh, every one of them. One, go! The second challenge is an arduous uphill run in 40 degree heat. The last 100 meters. Lucas is safe, but who will be second? Kirk falls to the ground. My legs can't go any further. Stiff as hell. Reese won the first challenge, so he has the first choice to pick one of your girls. I wish you all good luck. Reese. Okay, uh, I like challenges, so I'm not going to pick the champ, it's going to be too easy. And I'm not going to pick the, the girl who has advantage, but uh, I'm going to pick the girl who votes for me, because I'm really loyal, and I, uh, I thank them. So the, my first choice will be from France, uh, Anissa Mexen.
I will choose the champ in Mbaro. Easy. I will choose uh, Isis from Hola. Simone. Canada. From Holland, Samantha. Indonesia. <laughs> Maria, please come. Now it's really hard. Uh, to, of course, the one between the one, but for me, it's so hard. Uh, I'm gonna go with France because I'm French. Australia. Israel. Norway. South Africa. Balrock, your last choice for the yellow super pro team. The last one, I choose somebody who convinced me that uh, it's a hard fighter, so I'll go for Germany. Sweden. Sweden. Now there are three girls left. Yeah. Novenka from Croatia, Maria from Greece, and Philippa from Portugal. All three of them have 20 hours to collect as many votes as possible via a social media site. The one with the most votes takes the last spot. The other two will be reserve fighter. Uh, a strong, a strong cast. This time, a really strong cast. I look, I watch uh, some of their fights. The, the, their girls are good. Okay, black team, kickboxing talents, and then fusion life team, the white team. We're ready to do the matchmaking. The first choice is for the black team. Lucas, who is going to do the first pick for your black team? Joanna. Yes. Okay, let me know who you want to fight. Felix. Felix, please step forward. Please stare down. Daniel, I'll give you 10 seconds to talk to your team. One of the white team members has the right to challenge a member of the black team to fight. After that, a black team member will pick an opponent from the remainder of the white team. Okay, time. Daniel, who's going to step forward from your white team? It's going to be Miss Canada. Please step forward. I will pick Soraya. Please stand up. Lucas, the choice is yours again. Iman, the champ. Okay, Iman, who are you going to pick? Um, I'll pick Simone from Holland. Simone. <laughs> Simone is unfortunate enough to be challenged by the champion. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Last two. Please stop forward, girls. <laughs> Lucas, please step forward for your stand down. <laughs> Maybe you can ask him now about change the rooms. You are roommates. <laughs> Maybe you never get so close again today. Possibly. Ask him, Daniel. Change rooms. We're changing rooms. We're staying together. 
it's the same way we can change the rules. <laughs> yeah, talk to him. I'm not the boss. <laughs> okay. Well, as you're in the smaller bed, you're, you're kicking you out. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Fuck it, no. I have to change the coin. No, that's no problem, we'll do that. We're going to dance in the ring, yeah? Yeah. Good stuff. So, this is the lineup for the black and the white team. Okay, Brees, I give the word to you. You're the captain. Um, you let the girls decide or you decide for them? What's it going to be? No, Marina going to pick the girl and she's the first one. She Step forward, please. I choose uh, Mary Muslo from Germany. Aswin, uh, one of your girls to step forward to challenge one of uh, Team Red. Isis, step forward. Isis, please step forward. Who are you going to challenge? I choose the friend's blonde girl. I didn't know her name. <laughs> That's good preparation. You don't know who you're fighting. But you don't mind. But Isis is already in another world. Her sights seem to be fixed on Lizzie as the two stare each other down. Vanessa, two choices for you. Please step to the middle. I choose uh, Adi. Adi. Get closer, please. She doesn't bite you. <laughs> the four captains chose 15 fighters, and the remaining three had to take part in a voting challenge. Novenka, Maria and Philippa had to collect as many votes as possible from their fans back home. And the winner entered the tournament to fight Samantha Van Dorn. Philippa won the voting challenge because thousands of fans from Portugal voted for her. Novenka and Maria are the reserve fighters and they will fight each other. My name is Mom Barlow, I'm 21 uh, and I'm from the United Kingdom. Um, I fight at 54 kilos, I'm 165 centimetres and my fight record is 78 professional fights with four losses and three draws. The challenge to decide who gets the good or the bad room. Aman has her helmet the wrong way around. The challenge will decide who gets three people in the corner on fight night and who gets to sleep in the good or the bad room the night before the fight. Unfortunately, this looks like a very short challenge. A comfortable victory for Simone and Team White. Iman is still way behind. Joke. Aman gets the bad room that night. We've got holes in the roof and it's going to rain. Shit. That's because she lost the challenge. For Simone, it is a complete different story. She will have an excellent room in Nikki Beach Resort, will have a perfect night's rest and three people in her corner on fight night. Pick Simone because I'm hoping I'll go through injury free and I'll win against her. And like Daniel said, uh, I also have two, uh, two legs, two arms, and uh, anything is possible. Yeah, I hope to, uh, to give some surprises uh, to the world. Yeah, I will do my best for it, definitely. Next up. And have you got a game plan to try and save on injuries? Yeah, because obviously you're going to hope to go through to the semis. Yeah, uh, just uh, win the first two rounds. If I win them easy on my bike, the third round, you know, um, just keep moving, footwork, to try and keep avoid injuries. She's from Holland, where she is known as the Mona Lisa, with a proud, undefeated record. 14 fights, 14 wins. Three of those wins come inside the schedule distance. Please welcome Comes out. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. She brings an excellent record of 74 fights, 67 wins. 25 of those wins coming by way of knockout with four losses and three draws. She is the S1 WPMF and current Infusion World Champion from England. Iman! The pretty killer! 
wouldn't melt in her mouth. But I tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, she's a sizzling hot sensation in the ring. Trust me. Yeah, she has great hands, great legs, great movement. She can do it all. But her opponent from the white team means business. Nervous footwork from Simone. We'll see it. That's the start from Simone. Yeah, there's a heavy body kick there from Barlow. Barlow is predominantly training. Oh my God, what a really hard high kick to the side of the chin of the Dutch girl, and down she goes. She looks deep. I heard that, Vinny. I heard the, the crack as I hit her in the head. That was a great head kick. She looks in pain, Mr. Tate. She looks like... She can carry on. Yeah, she is. But she's... On a bit of a high for nothing, if I, to be honest. Because Barlow's putting on a, a scintillating performance, really. Yeah, I think the performance goes to Barlow here. Fair place to the, to the Dutch girl. She has a heart of a lion, but sometimes a heart is not enough. It's not. No, it's tough is not enough. And I mean... Got to be clever in this game. Yeah, you've got to be clever if you're going to throw lover. And if you just joined us, I'm Billy Shawman, and with me is Andrew Tate, the king himself. King Tate, as he's known on Facebook. And you can read his words of mind, wisdom and mass madness when you decide to, have it, to, to check him out. And after three rounds of action, your judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner fighting out of the red corner, Iman. A pretty you go. sportsmanship oh. or sports ladyship all the way through. Is that the fight you expected from her? Um... I do think so, yeah, definitely. She had really strong kicks. And in the first round, I got a kick. And I thought my, my, my thing had to anyway. Yeah, it, it hurts really bad. I thought it's broken, but... Do you think it's okay? We'll go and get it checked out. I don't know, I'll let's check it. Simone's jaw needs to be examined the next day. And as feared, the X-ray reveals a severe fracture. The doctors confirm that Simone will need surgery and will be unable to fly for three weeks after that and will have to eat for weeks through a straw. Simone decides to have her surgery in Holland instead of Thailand so she can recover from the surgery in her own environment. It's about to go down, 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 down. Oh, fusion. I'm Sment van Dorwen, I come from Holland. My weight is uh, 54 kilos, I'm 160. My fight records, are, I don't count anymore. It's uh, more than 50 uh, fights. Three, two, one, go! As always in Infusion Reality, there is a challenge to decide who will sleep in the good room and who will sleep in the bad room. Also, the winner can have three people in the corner and the loser just their team captain. This victory means that Samantha not only secures the good room, but also gets three people in her corner on fight night. A sea view bungalow at Nikki Beach. A great way to prepare for a fight compared to Philippa from Portugal. Some of the action, good jab, hard leg kick. That was the best one from Van Doren. She threw another one after this. There you go, then. But all the time, courageous. That was the happy Portuguese skip. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. The man in the know, Peter Lowe, Lowe giving us a decision. And after three hard fought rounds of action, your judges have reached a unanimous decision, all in favour of your winner fighting out of the. Red corner, Samantha 
Bandul. And show your appreciation for a very brave runner-up, Philippa. Samantha, well done. How was that fight for you? Yeah, nice, nice. Was it harder than you thought, easier? No, no harder. Uh, only uh, it's difficult in the Netherlands to weather better and hear more out there, but I train hard. I'm here now for two weeks, and that's why I'm coming for two weeks to train with the weather and to win. It's about to go down, 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 down. On fusion. fusion. Sammy Lee from Australia faces the strong Fatima Pinto from Norway. <laughs> when I was selected for Infusion, I, um, I started screaming and dancing and jumping around and I, I'm, I'm very loud so I was like dancing around the house going nuts. Um, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm a little bit crazy but I was, and I danced like when I'm really excited, I, I know how to dance but I just dance like an idiot so I'm like waving around and just being a, mo a monkey, <laughs> it's fun. My name is uh, Fatima Pinto. I'm from Norway. I am 160 centimeters high. I normally fight in 51 kilos. I have 30 fights, six of them losses, rest win. Three, two, one, go. The challenge, tire flipping. The fastest time gets the good room and three people in the corner. This is an extremely difficult exercise for both strength and cardio. Thirty-nine point five. Never done that before, no. No, you liked it. No. <laughs> it was heavy. It was, yes. It was tough. It was definitely tough. Three, two, one, go. Fatima's turn, but the tyre bounces a lot. Of course, the loser gets only one corner man, and worse still, the bad one. Forty points. Yeah. Get the hustle! Black, 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 she can have this one, I will have the next one. Yeah. Because Sammy Lee won her challenge, she gets the good room at Nikki Beach. That's Sam Brown from Australia and Fatima Pinto from Norway. Three point four. Fifty two point three. This fight was agreed on a maximum of fifty four kilograms. Thank you. 
is from Australia, where she is known as Nanu. Please welcome Sammy Lee Brown. Sammy Lee Brown, the thunder from down under, the cliche that's been used for, by every commentator in the world. She gives a record of 20, 2 Fatima Pinto then from Norway. Sammy Lee will get caught. Yeah, Sammy Lee's walking into a few punches here though, she's got to be careful. She's lucky Fatima's on the back foot. She's very straight up though Fatima isn't she? If you watch her, you see her back. When she gets pressured, she stands up like a little bit like a soldier. She can be body kicked easily. Good leg kick from Lee Brown. A good right hand bounce of the tough Norwegian's chin. There's a big score on the judges there, Andrew. Just losing balance. And a heavy leg kick from Aussie. Just chasing her down, really, with not much of a plan there, Andrew. Just coming forward and just coming forward. She looks really, really tired as well. So she's trying to win the fight with pressure, she's just coming forward, she's digging the kick in, whether it's blocked or not, no matter what's there, she's just kicking anyway. Yeah. Trying to look aggressive in the judge's eye. Yeah, good body kick in the right hand. Oh, a good oh. high kick there from Fatima Pinto. She took that well. And there's beautiful femme fatales mixing it up in the ring. But not only are they very, very tough people, but also dedicated athletes to the sport. And they're a credit to each nation, so I hope everybody in their countries getting behind these girls and getting them sponsors and stuff because they really have put it all on the line here. A nice jumping right hand from the Norwegian as he goes straight to the body of the Australian. He presses forward, trying to cause some intense indentation in this girl that looks like she's chiseled out of black marble. Yeah, marching forward, Sammy Lee. Marching, marching, marching. She hasn't given up. Coming forward, digging in the low kicks. Good body kick there from Fatima, but all the time the Aussie coming forward. The slippery, sexy sensation himself, the snake, the reptilian. Mr. Andrew Tate. Thank you for the introduction, Vinny. I wish I was good I'm enough. I'm good at that. You are good. I, wish I, I am good at If that. I was as good as you, I would give you that introduction every time you were Thanks. <laughs> I'm starting to do some myself. Anyway, right hand, a body kick there from Sammy Lee Brown. Puts the pressure on the Norwegian. And that is a very, very close court for contest. Not an easy one to score, Vin. We'll have to see how the judges see it. Round four, then, of this very, very, very close court con for contest. They had to split them. A good jumping right hand from Pinto to the side of the face of the Australian. Takes a jab as well. Again, coming forward, Lee Brown. This is where she could steal the round here with this combination. He has really pushed herself forward. Hands low, visibly tired, fatigue setting in. But again, a sneak right hand from Pinto. So he's getting hit, but she won't stop coming forward. Coming out on the final dying seconds of this very exciting contest and a round that could be stolen here by the Australian. Push kick and a hard leg kick to the back of the leg. And there goes the bell then. The blue corner, Sammy Lee Brown! And she's having a pretty great sequence. And next to the runner, Fatima Williams Pinto! Sam, well done. How was that fight for you? Uh, a little bit painful, but fun. Why do you say painful? I'm just tired. But I don't know, that was good fun. Tired? Was she hurting you with the power? No, not really. Okay, you got a black eye on, on the right side there. She got a couple of punches in. Uh, not too sore. My shin's a little bit sore from checking, but yeah, not too bad. Yeah, Fatima, what's happened to your hand? I think I broke it. Did you feel it go in the fight? Yeah. What round? I think it was start of the second. I'm not sure. Are you starting to feel a little bit funny because no, of the pain? No. It's okay. Yeah, it hurts. It just hurts when I move it. Okay, you can see the swelling coming up already. Well, you can see the swelling. Yeah. You're so tough. Things happen. Small gloves, you know. 
The doctor comes to check Fatima's hand and sees that there is a fracture. Fatima has to go to hospital for some x-rays and further examination. Sammy Lee Brown won and moves on to the quarter-finals. The x-ray shows a severe fracture and Fatima needs to be operated on and stay in the hospital overnight. She will not be able to use her hand for weeks. It's about to go down, 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 down. down. Fusion. 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 I choose uh, Mary Muslo from Germany. My name is Maria Muslu. I'm representing Germany. I'm 27, 163 and 54 kilo. I have uh, 52 fights, 12 losses. My name is Medina Zweva. I fight for Russia. I have 24 years old. Uh, my uh, weight is uh, 54, 55 and I have uh, 173 meters. I have uh, about uh, 55 fights and uh, 15 losses, rest are we. Please come forward. The challenge for Marina and Miriam is something they can do with their team. A soccer match. The first team to score two goals will win the challenge. <laughs> you can decide, do you want to change side or do you want... Uh, it's like this, okay, you have the ball. Best of two goals wins. Everybody is excited about this one. Marina is very lucky to have Anissa in her team. She seems to be a great soccer player. But the yellow team play a rough, physical game. Yellow have a good goalkeeper in Ashwin Balrak. Although it is obvious that red are the better soccer players, the yellow team keep it competitive by playing a mean game. It's getting less and less friendly. from Ashwin is immediately punished by Anissa Mexen. What a terrific soccer player she is. One more, if she I fights more. like she plays soccer, Two. the girls will have to watch out for her. Suddenly, Team Yellow starts a small war. OK, goalkeepers can come out now. Go oh, red, red. A very bad foul. Isis kicks her opponent, Lizzie, without the ball being around. Then the bad-tempered game comes to an end as Anissa finishes the game before any accidents happen. You think this is an advantage for you, having three people in your corner, so also your, uh, the people you hang around uh, with all week, to have them in your corner? Do you think they will help you? Yeah, for sure. If I have, if I have more people screaming with me, it's always uh, the best. So. Good. Okay, I wish you all good luck in your fight. You lost your challenge. What happened? Yeah, we, we give everything. Uh, we are fighter. We fight in the ring. Yeah. We show the girl them. Anessa made a difference. She was a good yeah. soccer player, right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. This was their luck that Anessa can play football. But yeah. we are fighter. We show I agree our with skills you. in the ring. I agree with you. Uh, Mary Muslo from Germany. Have you fought her before? No, no, never. I saw some of her fights. We'll see. So have you looked her up and been studying her on YouTube? Yeah, I studied a little bit and, and I like to fight with the shorter girls. So, yeah, because you're actually one of the tallest girls here. So do you think that's an advantage? Will you use your reach against them? Yeah, I think that it's a good advantage. Do you think people are underestimating you because you are very quiet? Do you think people see that as a weakness? Maybe, maybe, but I like it when Fighters are quiet because um, in the fight everything can happen. A princess being commentated by the king himself, not Elvis, Andrew King Cobra Tate. Hello Vinny, how are you doing today? I'm alright, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm, in the, I'm in a very good mood. 
39 wins. 14 of those wins coming by way of knockout. With nine losses, he is an IMC and WLF Muay Thai World Champion. Please welcome from Germany. Strong looks looks big in the shoulders, bit of a puncher. In an absolute blistering shot to the chin. She didn't see it, did he? Neither did the audience, Andrew. That's why I think they're a bit shocked, to be honest, all the VIPs here. Really nice shot. Yeah, beautiful right hand. See if Russia can capitalise on it. She still looks dazed, Vin. She does indeed. Yes! Nice knees coming with the heavy shots to the head and the body. That was a really hard shot. Yeah, she looks dazed looking at her corner yeah, there she for does. a bit of she looks, at her, she looks out of sorts here, Andrew. Good knee. She wants to stop. She's asking Ashwin Barrett to throw the corner in. She's not recovered from that shot. There's a wave of time. It. Bang, there you go. Down goes Germany. Boom. Oh my goodness. I'm right. glad she's all right. I'm glad that left kick missed as well. Yeah. She came out to David Goetto, shot me down, and she really did get shot down. The victory for Russia. History repeats itself, did he? Indeed. Marina Zueva won and moves on to the quarterfinals. Joanna. Yes. Okay, let me know who you want to fight. Felix. Felix, please step forward. <laughs> when Joanna picked me, um, I was happy because out of the team, I would have chosen Joanna as well. So I was happy with that. I'm Johanna Reitberg from Sweden. I'm 161 and I'm 54 kilos. Uh, I've had about 45 fights, uh, 10 losses and one draw. Then started doing Muay Thai at uh, 20, 27. Yeah, so I've been doing it for almost six years. My name is Feriel Amirudin. Um, everyone calls me Felix. My height is 154. I have 23 fights, seven losses, um, two draws. So what do you actually think about uh, women fighting? Because there's this kind of stereotype amongst men mainly that you know women uh, should not be actually in the ring or in the cage fighting. What do you ladies think about that? We think it's bollocks. Because <laughs> we all fight up. Obviously we think that women's fighting is fine and we like it and mm -hmm. we think more. I don't know, I'm just speaking for myself, but I think like we want to try and get as many females to fight as possible because there are still people that, especially males, I'm sorry to say, they think that females shouldn't fight and we're not good enough to fight and men will always be better and I think that's a load of crock. And I think people will see now that we are really good athletes and we have skills they want to do, whatever they they love to do, you can't really keep them from doing something that will make them happy. Definitely. First one to score wins, we change sides. It all takes too long, so Daniel decides to go for glory on his own. Lucas leaves his goal too. A lot of fun, but still no goal. First team to score wins this challenge. Yeah, 
As always, the loser of the challenge gets the bad room and only the coach in the corner. Ariel from South Africa and Joanna from Sweden, please step forward. Fifty three point nine. Fifty three point five. Windows. And this has been pretty awesome. Absolutely has. Very, very excited to be here. Video have enjoyed every fight so far. Plus, we're short for the Plus, the weather's nice. Plus, I'm gorgeous. Life's good. With two draws and seven losses, she is an IMC UK MF champion. Please welcome from South Africa, where she is known as Felix. If I was from South Africa, my fighting would be the apartheid. Enjoy the apartheid team. If I was from South Africa, I'd be called Fili. And see if you can Across the ring, fighting out of eight. the red corner. We have seen Sean with the door. Record record of 46 the door 35 wins. 11 wins coming by way of knockout with one draw and 10 losses. She is a Swedish, Nordic and European champion from Sweden. Welcome to Hara! Oh, we are in Thailand. You know, and you've got lots of years ahead of you. But, uh, yeah, com hopefully. Combinations going in from the uh, Dutch girl, uh, sorry, the Dutch girl. Swedish girl going forwards, really just putting the pressure on Amma Road. Yes, you, you, you have potential to be a genius. But uh, going forward and um, just scoring the shots. So. And after three rounds of action, your judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favour of your winner, fighting out of the red corner. Well, there you go then. To Felix gets some little wounds. Viper goes through. And show your appreciation for our runner-up, Ferial Felix Amirodi. Joanna, well done. How was that fight for you? Uh, it was fun. I liked it. Uh, I've been looking forward to fighting Ferial, actually. Uh, is she tough? She's tough, yeah. Yeah, but still, I could feel in the first round that I had it. So, felt good. I, I didn't think I was nervous, but when I was in there, I felt like I was underwater. And I couldn't, like I knew what I had to do, and I heard everything that Daniel told me. That he was shouting at me, and I just I couldn't react fast enough. Like I don't like she, she was really, really good, taking nothing away from Jana. I felt I felt like I wasn't properly in the fight, and I'm really disappointed, and I feel like I let everyone down. Joanna Rydberg won and moves on to the quarterfinals. Infusion. You gather 18 fighters from all over the globe. We have them train together, we have them live together, we have them eat together, we have them fight together. But only one gets to win it, so it's now or never. This is the battle of a warrior, let it be known. And my advice is either go hard or go home. You better step up to the challenge or you'll get dismissed. And you don't get a second chance, homie, this is it. Ho Samui is where we train the best. Welcome to Thailand, let's see if you can pass the test. Which one of these fighters is a champion? Who's gonna rise up and show them that it can be done? $40,000, now who wants it most? Let's see if you can do more than brag and boast. Kickboxing meets discipline. Step inside the ring, let's go finish him. Welcome to Infusion Reality number five, the ladies edition, where 18 of the best female fighters from all over the world compete until there is one left. They will be coached by five heavyweight team captains who will also fight each other in this tournament. Fighters will sleep, eat, live and train together in Resort Super Pro Samui, a necessity to visit for all people who love combat sports. Super Pro Samui is located on the beautiful island of Koh Samui. The island has something for everybody. Sun, sea, rest, culture. And above all, good parties. The co-host of the show is 14 times world champion, Julie Kitchen. Infusion is the brainchild of host Edwin Van Os, 
coach, manager and former trainer of many world-class Thai boxers. 